thing I can give my son anymore is justice. Powerful words from a father vowing to fight for his son months after his murder. The details of his son's death are just terribly disturbing. Details that he will have to live with forever. Now, one of the suspects is out on bond, living her life, sharing moments with her family that he will never get with his son. He sat down with our Tina Terry, and Tina, his son can no longer speak for himself, so that father is speaking for him tonight. Yeah, Steve Early was so upset when he heard about this. Detectives here at the sheriff's office say that young woman helped to cover up his son's murder and then helped get rid of the body. And tonight, she is out here walking the streets. He was always laughing. He was always cutting up. He wanted, he wanted to laugh and make everybody around him laugh. Steve Early lives with those vivid memories of his son, Michael. Detectives say the 19 year old was murdered in May after trying to sell a small amount of marijuana to three teens. During the transaction, they say Michael got into an argument with 19 year old Carlos Rosas, who they say killed Michael. And they say 19 year old Lauren Grimes and Madison Harrington helped cover it up. A warrant says Harrington helped dismember Michael's body to conceal the crime and Rosas claimed she came up with the idea. It's evil, pure evil. There's no explanation for the type of evil that somebody like that has. All three teens have sat in jail since the murder, but this week, Harrington made her $500,000 bond and walked free. Thanksgiving's coming up, and she can have Thanksgiving dinner with her family. My son can't. Steve calls that an injustice. Tina, with me being his father, the only thing I can give my son anymore is justice. And he deserves that. Yeah, and an attorney who is not associated with this case told me that those girls could have been charged with first degree murder. But since that did not happen, he says that a $500,000 bond and an accessory to murder charge is not something that is unheard of. Those two other suspects are still in jail tonight, Erica. All right, praying for that family. And I know that father won't stop until he gets justice. Thank you, Tina.